Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for October 2020. I want to remind everybody that these are general readings and may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't and you would like a personal reading that will tap directly into your energy and your situation or the person that you're involved with, um, there's directions in the box below and I would be happy to help you with that. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that is going to set up a direct link between us. It is a sharing of energy every time you interact with the channel and that does help me to focus on you a little bit easier and better. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna pull for October your general energies and you know we'll see whatever comes out. We just kind of let you know whatever wants to show itself. And then we're gonna pull directly for your career and finance and then also for your love life, all right? So, Spirit, can I have the energy for Cancer for the month of October? General energies, please. General energies for Cancer for the month of October. All right, so we have the Strength card, the Two of Wands, The chariot in reverse and we have the lovers in reverse and the six of cups okay so this is <laughs> you guys always always have these very very strong there's a strong connection to this group of cancers that I I'm always picking up on so when you get the lovers and the six of cups this is again that very strong spiritual um, connection so it's showing up in your general energies already. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the energies for money and finance for Cancer in October. That's too many cards. One more card, please. Energy and finance for Cancer, October. Alright, so you have the star, you have the king of cups, you have the ace of pentacles in reverse, and you have the ace of wands in reverse. Spirit, can I have the energy of love for cancer for the month of October, please? Alright, so you have the emperor. You have the Ten of Wands and Judgment coming out together. Yeah, so this is a reconnection here with this very spiritual person, and it's it feels burdensome. Um, you have, so there's a lot of problems connected with it. You have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Nine of Swords. Okay. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So there's something here, um, the underlying energy that somebody has maybe pulled back a little bit, um, not really offering the cup of love. They, you know, there might be um, passion here, but I feel like um, the love is not really coming forward in the way that one or the other person is really desiring. There's somebody is holding back. All right, Spirit, can I have three cards of guidance for cancer, please? Guidance for cancer. Soaring into joy. Okay, I like that. Accepting what is. That's in your career sector. And you got two for the love sector. Why am I not surprised with you guys? Savoring pleasure, there's that, um, definitely that passion there, and mending bridges, okay? All right, so let's look and see, let's break this down, Cancer, and see what we have going on. So in your general energies, um, Spirit's guidance is for you to soar into joy. It says, childlike wonder fills my life. So that's very nice. Um, 
and it looks as if you know there's something that does definitely uplift your heart here um, and makes you just feel very childlike again so I do see that you have the strength card um, so something in it is taking a lot of strength for you to to move into or to move away from um, you're really having to pull on that inner strength and I also see that you know there's going to be some kind of a a choice you have to make you're a little bit at a crossroads and you're gonna have to be making a choice or someone else is um, there will be a period where there is no forward movement but I do see that by the end of the month um, that somebody has that choice that they have to make um, they're gonna stall they're gonna stall on that choice either you are or they are um, and it has to do with their past so or an or a soulmate so they may be stalling it because I feel like this is a very strong spiritual connection cancer and you've kind of been you know, going through this for a minute now um, this has been showing up in your readings and so I feel like whoever you're dealing with here through the month of October, it's going to take a lot of strength for you to deal with it because the, the forward movement that you're wanting is not going to be as present. And it's because somebody here has to make a decision and they're stalling. They're stalling that. All right, so let's start clarifying. Um, Spirit, why is the strength card here for cancer? Yeah, because you're getting you're getting very clear on everything. Um, there may be communication. It's going to be truthful communication, and um, but it's it's taking you a lot to deal with this subject because you're getting very clear on it. And I think you're you're seeing that this person might be stalling. Why is the two of wands here? The lovers. Why am I not surprised with you, Cancer? All right, because um, it's a choice. It's a big choice, and it's a choice between two people. We've seen this before. Um, why is the chariot here in reverse? So there is your ten of pentacles. There's confusion. Someone is confused about what is going to be the best choice for them as far as a partner and, you know, what is going to make them the happiest. Um, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's a little confused about that, so it's not moving forward. And and they have there's there's options. Someone has choices here. Why is um well, three for the last three for the last energy? There we go. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so yeah, somebody is having to make a decision here. Now, the Empress um, can be, doesn't have to be, um, and in this particular instance, I wouldn't really put a lot of stock in it, but could be Libra or um, could be uh, Taurus. That is a card for um, for those, those. But I, I feel more like it is, this is your energy. Because um, we do have the Emperor and now we have the Empress and I feel like um, the feminine energy in this relationship is a little out of sorts because somebody is not taking charge so your king of Pentacles you may be dealing with an earth sign don't have to be it could be someone with earth in their chart but this is the married king this is the person who um, you know he is the lower vibrational energy of the emperor actually so this is somebody that you see as your partner as your person and i feel like they are having to choose between you and and this queen of swords now the queen of swords could be um it could be an air sign which would be libra gemini or aquarius doesn't have to be but what we see is that both of these people have their back turned to the king. So I feel like um, I feel like this king of pentacles, this emperor who is in his lower energy, has to make a decision. He's stalling making this decision. Um, and I feel like both parties are, you know, both of these feminines are feeling a little out of sorts with him. Um, 
yeah, neither one's very happy with him at this point. And he he's trying to he's trying to make a decision and he's stalling. That it that's the only way I can put it. This is a very spiritual relationship. So it looks like um, you have somebody here that is in either a twin flame or a soulmate um, relationship and they're dealing with a karmic as well as with a divine feminine okay so let's look at your money and finance for october so spirit's advice is accepting what is i accept and embrace my inner majesty okay so i think that's more about accepting yourself than it is about accepting the the external but there would be an element of that because whatever is inside eventually manifest itself outside. So we have the star here. So there is um, there is definitely um, some healing in your finances or your work life. And I feel like things are moving in a good direction. You're balancing things out very well in the first part of October. Um, I also see that we have the King of Cups here. So, um, you know, that's cup energy, which is emotional. So, you may be dealing with somebody here that in, in your workplace that is a fellow water sign, but I really feel like this is you. Um, I feel like you're kind of taking charge of your life here. You're basically the king of your own life. You're, you're stepping in and you're, you're in charge of your own life here. Um, stepping into your power, making things happen, balancing things out. Um, we do have, towards the end of the month, a little bit of frustration because you have this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there may be something that is on the horizon that you're trying to reach for, either a position or a financial goal that is eluding you a little bit. There is a possibility of some kind of a loss towards the end of the month, so be careful about that. Be careful with your money. And then um, you also have the Ace of Wands towards the end of the month. So you may be, um, with whatever this situation is, you may be losing a little bit of passion towards something. Now, it's interesting to me that you have passion, you have love, and you have Major Arcana in here, but only one pentacle. So I feel like your energies, um, you know, are, are a little bit... Um, the word I hear is stalled at this time, um, but I feel like, you know, there's positive stuff here. There's just something you're reaching for that's not quite, it's eluding you a little bit, and I feel like, you know, you may lose a little bit of your passion for it. So, let's clarify. Why is the star here? Okay, so you have the hangman. Yeah, so you're waiting. You're waiting for something that you really want. Why is the king of cups here? You have the Page of Wands. So you're waiting for information. Um, you're, you're seated in your power. You're, you're feeling good about things um, emotionally, um, but I feel like you're not really communicating and, or you're waiting for communication of some sort. And that is with regard to your finances and career. Um, why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse? All right, so you have the Three of Cups here. So I see you kind of um, feeling good about this. There's something here that's eluding you, but you feel good about it towards the end of the month. You also might be getting together with coworkers um, and celebrating something, but at the same time, be careful with your money in that, in that third week. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? Yeah, you're a little unbalanced. So I feel like um, there's going to be something here that's either eluding you, that you're tr you're looking for. You're trying to gain some kind of um, information about, and it, it's not forthcoming. There's a feeling of waiting. You may, um, and you will have things to celebrate, but I feel like you may have a, either a loss or something is not coming through the way you thought it would. And I feel like that's going to leave you a little bit unbalanced and 
you may feel like um, a little a little bit put off about it so yeah that that's interesting because you go into the month very hopeful and then this waiting energy starts all right so let's look at your love life down here so spirit's advice is to savor pleasure and mend bridges it says i fully embrace bliss in my life i feel rifts and i am a mender so there's something that you're trying to bring back together and you do find whatever this is very pleasurable. So you have the emperor. This is um, your, your counterpart. And I do feel that this is either a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, I do feel like the emperor is kind of standing in his power. Um, there is a comeback around. So there is a reuniting with this emperor with the judgment card, but I feel like it's not, um, it, it comes with a lot of burdens. It comes with a lot of complications. So it's not, it's not like, oh, we're back together and everything's happy. There's a comeback around. The emperor is standing in his power, taking charge of things, but it's whatever is going on here has a lot of complications that, that kind of weighs on you. And I see that you have also the page of pentacles so there is going to be some kind of a small offer um but it's a page it's not i mean you want king energy you don't want page energy and so there's something and it it's going to be extremely small i don't know that it's going to be what you're hoping for and i feel like it's going to kind of throw you backwards a little bit cancer um, towards the end of the month because we have the nine of swords um, so that's you being upset and concerned, losing sleep. Um, yeah. So I see you coming back together with this masculine energy, whether it's, you know, male or female, whoever's carrying the masculine energy is in their power. There is a reuniting, but it comes with a lot of complications. There is going to be some kind of a small offer. It's not going to be what you're hoping for. And it's going to leave you feeling um, really upset really upset and concerned so let's clarify why is the emperor here temperance yeah so there's healing in this situation but it's it's not as completely fulfilling as you would like it's not everything you want um yeah but there is healing um why is judgment in the ten of wands here Queen of Cups, you love this person, yeah, you definitely love this person, you, you, you have a lot of emotion for this person, and that's why it's coming back together, why is the Page of Pentacles here, okay, so the offer, um, so you may have an offer of love, and possibly an apology, um, so we go from the page to a knight. So the per this person is trying to level up. Um, so they're offering love to you, but the stability that they're going to offer to you is less than what you had hoped for. It's, it's as if there's an inequality between the love and the stability. And I feel like it's because this emperor is still in another situation and they're having to make this choice. All right, why is the Nine of Swords here? And that's why it's not as completely fulfilling cancer as you would like it to be. Yeah, so there will be a tower moment. There's going to be some kind of a tower moment and, you know, things are going to kind of topple. And I feel like once they topple, um, that you're going to go about um, having to try to repair it. So sometime through the month, there's going to be some kind of upheaval in this relationship. Um, let's go ahead and look at this from a chronological standpoint. Remember that time is fluid. Um, my guides have told me we mark things in events, not in days, times, and hours. Um, that's a very human concept, and it's not... Um, how things are, you know, run spiritually, I guess. All right, so that being said, 
it looks like in the first um, week of October that you know you're going to have some clarification I do feel like it is about this relationship I feel like there's going to be some healing with this masculine energy but it's still not going to be everything that you want it's not going to be completely fulfilling and I think that you're you're going to be getting some clarification and also some truthful communication in the first week with regard to your work there is something here that you are really hoping for um, this is work or finances or career um, there's something you're hoping for and I feel like you're kind of in a in a hold about that you're waiting you're waiting for this um, in the second week of October we we see that someone is at a crossroads I feel like it is the masculine energy um, and having to make a decision between two we see that this is with the um, lovers twice and also with the six of cups this is a very very strong spiritual connection um, and I would say it's either a twin flame or a deep soulmate connection it's definitely a spiritual connection um, so I feel like whoever the masculine energy is is you know kind of at a crossroads and having to decide between two and I feel like you will in the second week there will be um, a sense of reuniting with this person like a comeback around with the judgment card here but it's very complicated it comes with a lot of complications that is another reason why you're not completely fulfilled with this and I do feel that you know you will be realizing that you really do love this person there you have a lot of love for this person and that's really why this connection has come back through um, I feel like it you drew this person to you now with your work um, situation in the second week there is something that you're hoping to have communication about um, it may be from a water sign, but I don't think so. I think that's you standing in your power. You're waiting for this communication or you're waiting to give communication, possibly just, um, you know, kind of biting your tongue here because I see you in a waiting position. Um, yeah, so I feel like you're feeling very powerful, though, and very grounded in your work situation at this time. Now, towards the middle of the month, with regard to this love situation, um, we do see that there is a stalling. Um, the masculine in this situation is confused about what is going to be stable for him, what is gonna make him happy. And I see that he is stalling, making a decision here. He's stalling any forward movement in this. I do think that towards the end of the month that the masculine will um, make some sort of an offer towards uh, the feminine but um, the love is present and and the, the offer of love is going to be more than the stability of the situation so again the complications and the lack of total fulfillment in that because you know it's one thing to love somebody but it's another thing to follow through and I feel like the follow through is gonna be a little lacking. Um, there will be some, but not, not the level that the feminine is looking for. Um, with regard to this work situation, um, there, you may be celebrating with um, coworkers in the third week of October um, or celebrating in some manner, but be careful because there may be some loss in that, um, a financial loss or some kind of a state stability loss there um, either that or there's something that you're just still waiting to come through so um, be cautious in that third week now at the end of the month what we see is we still have the Emperor stalling making this decision I don't think that that situation is going to fully move forward and further clarifying um, we see that the Emperor when he is making this decision the the um, masculine is kind of in his lower energy here um, he's feeling committed to uh, two people and I feel that um, both of these people that he has he's making this decision between are kind of a little unhappy with him 
Um, we have the Queen of Swords who has turned her back, could be a water sign. And then we have the Empress, which would be, um, I feel like is you, um, Cancer. And you're out of sorts as well. And, you know, kind of turned your back. And so there's a stalling. And a, a lot of looking back at the past as well um, for the Divine Masculine. Um, I do feel like there will be a tower moment and you know once the dust settles from that there's going to be fallout and it, I think it has to do with the fact that this you know divine masculine is stalling the situation um, there is going to be some kind of a fallout because we have the tower in reverse so that indicates that it will have already happened and you know then everything has to settle that's going to leave you uh, cancer in a very emotional state. Um, we see that you are stressed out, losing sleep, um, just ruminating about this. So it is going to be a very stressful event. Um, you know, so I think that, you know, there may be healing that is going to need to take place. This is going to happen sometime around the end of October. And with regard to your work situation, um, I do feel like you may be feeling a little unbalanced there. It could be that your emotional um, state is impacting you a little bit. And I feel like there's going to be a lack of balance in your workplace and a little bit of a, a loss of enthusiasm. Um, and it has to do also with whatever this, it's either a loss that's going to occur by the end of the month or it is a, um, something is on delay, something you were hoping for, something you were, you were trying to achieve, whether it's an upgrade of some sort or it's a financial goal. And so I feel that, you know, I feel like you've been waiting for that. It, it may not come through yet, and that may cause you to feel a little unstable there. But you, the predominant energies has to do with this spiritual relationship and, um, it's kind of gonna it, it's a, an up and down battle it's a it's and i wouldn't say battle it's an up and down um trip here so you're going to in the month of october experience a lot of joy and then the complications set in and that's going to cause you to feel you know some kind of way so you know we'll be doing weekly readings as well and if you do need a personal reading please reach out to me and you know we'll see what we can do with that I would be happy to help you um, but that's your reading for the month I hope this is helpful and if you haven't subscribed already cancer please do so also like and share the video so other cancers can get the uh, messages here and until I see you next time namaste